Hi everybody, I'm Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today I'm going to show you how I made my pencil bag. Alright, so what we have here is two pieces of quilted material. They are 14 and a half by 16 and a half. The next thing that I need to do is I need to get my curve. I think you can see here on my bag there's this nice curve and what happens is when I open it, because of that curve, the bag opens really wide. So it makes it very easy to get into and get my things out of it. So the first thing that I'm going to do now that I have my pieces cut is I'm going to take my Circle Savvy ruler. Now, if you don't have one of these rulers, grab a kitchen plate. That works just as well. And I'm going to line it up. Now, I am using the 45 degree curve it's quite gradual it's a nice it's a really nice curve actually and I'm just lining it up so that it hits the edge here and here so I'm going to take this I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm just gonna cut it right off if for some reason you don't have um, one of these templates what I would suggest is take your friction pen and lay your plate on here and just do a nice gradual curve through there, okay? I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then once I've done that, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put our zipper in. The next thing that I'm going to do is take my little tab. I made a tab. I took a four and a half by two and a half inch piece of fabric. I folded it in half and then folded the two inside and then folded the two outsides together and then pressed it again. So I'm going to cut this in half. Just a little snip. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to lay my zipper flat. I'll move it off of here so that you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to lay my zipper flat and I'm going to take one of these two little tabs and I'm just going to insert the end of my zipper in there, just like this. I am going to pin it in place because I really don't want it moving. And then I'm going to top stitch over it. All right. So I've done that. Now my zipper is 25 inches. So I'm going to take my other end and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to insert this right into here. Right. I'm going to pin it into place. And then I'm going to top stitch. And when I top stitch, I'm top stitching right here. Right. So I will get that top stitched and then I will be back to show you how we're going to put our zipper in. So now you can see I've got my zip with the two tabs on it, okay? And I need to attach it to my bag. So I'm going to attach it to the right side and I want my pull up here at the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come in about, oh, let's say a half of an inch. So right to here. There's my half inch, and that's also going to be my seam allowance, okay? I'm going to line up my zip right here, and I am just going to pin it on there. And one of the things I can do to make it a little bit easier when I'm sewing it is just trim this extra piece off because I really don't need it. I can trim it off both sides of the zipper, actually. I'll trim that and I'm just going to use my wonder clips to clip it down so that it is in place and remember we did come in a half inch so I'm just gonna right side of the zipper down to the bag and I'm just gonna come all the way around clipping it on in here because this curve is such a gradual curve it's very easy to just line it right up and have it right where we want it. 
Once I've done this, I am going to change to my zipper foot. Okay. And I am going to stitch it down using that zipper foot. Okay, I need a few more clips. One more clip. All right, so I'm going to start here, right here at this spot, and I'm going to stitch all the way down until I get to here, to the very end of this tab. I'm not going to continue to stitch through here. In fact, when I... I'll show you when I go to put my sides together where I start and stop. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to stitch all the way around and then I'll be back. So what I'm doing now is I am just trimming this up a little bit, just taking my scissors and just cutting my seams back. Now I used my zipper as my guide. That was all there was to it. I just used the zipper is the guide and now I'm going to come back and I'm going to fold this over and I'm just going to top stitch right along here. It'll give me a nice finish on the inside and on the outside of the bag. So I'll come back once I've top stitched that down and then I'm going to put my other side on my bag. All right that side of my zipper is completely in and you can see it just nicely curves right around. And on the back side, I think you can see my stitching. I have two rows of stitching. There are a couple places that I came really close to losing it on the um, edge. You got to make sure you catch that edge. So now I'm going to take my second side. Here's my second side. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Starting right here at the top, I'm going to attach my zipper. I'm going to line it up with the other one so that I'm even on both sides, my zipper lines right up. And I'm going to stitch all the way down, then I'm gonna trim, then I'm gonna top stitch, and then I will show you how we do the last step of putting this little bag together. It's actually a little bit bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. But you know what, the way I look at it is, is it'll hold my daily calendar. So I can put all that stuff inside of it. So here we go, I'm getting the second half done, and I'll be back. I have sewn, sewn my zipper in, so that's completely in now. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it wrong side out. All right, turn it around. And the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to stitch. Let me get it turned all around for you. I'm going to start right up here. See where my seam is? And I'm going to start right here. I'm not sewing this little tab down. I'm going to sew down here. I'm going to back stitch at my corner. I'm going to sew, 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 and then come up to there. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. And I, before I start sewing, I am going to open my bag a little bit because it'll make it easier later on to turn it right side out. So here we go. You can see here, I think, I've got a couple threads. I think you can see here I sewed a seam all the way around and then I went back and I zigzagged all the way around. And if you've got a serger, this is the perfect time to pull the serger out and just serge around the edges, okay? Now, here on this side, we've got plenty of room to turn this because the seam. But when we get down to this edge, we don't have the room to turn it. Another thread. We really don't have the room to turn it down here. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do. This side, just stitch it normally. On this side, I want you to stop stitching your zipper just before you get to the tab that protects your zipper. Just when you're sewing it down, just stop right when you get there. All right. Then you're going to turn it right side out. I'm going to flip mine around so that you can see what it looks like. I'll flip the whole thing. Oh, 
flip it around and then now this is the top piece I've got my fingers holding underneath there and I'm just gonna take it and just flip it around and push it out and see comes out very nice you're good and flat everything's fine on that end but on this end it doesn't where the curve is it doesn't work out so nicely so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your bag and you're going to lay this flat. See this spot right here? And lay it out flat. And you're going to take it and you're going to top stitch it down. Just do a nice little V of a top stitch. And I'm going to insert pictures here so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But what that will do is help it to lay a little bit flatter. I'm going to zip it up for you and show you how nice your little bag is now. Isn't that just the cutest? This one's a little bit big. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna put in here. This one is a little bit big. You can make it any size you want to. That's completely up to you. Now this bag was 14 and a half by 16 and a half to start with. And in the end, it is 13 by well, I would say 15 and a half, all right? This bag is, so you lose about an inch. This bag is, let's see, this bag is nine and a quarter by, let's see if I can find my seam there. This bag is nine and a quarter by 11 and a half. All right, so that's the difference in the sizes of the two bag. But this one will be really nice because I'll be able to put my planner in here along with everything else. So that is your pencil bag. Make it any size you want. It's all up to you. There'll be a link below to go out to my website if you want to get a kit to make these. Now the kits are going to include the quilted fabric, the tabs, and your 24-inch zipper. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe and make certain that you're part of our Facebook group so that you can share all of your current sewing projects with us. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you again really soon.